How's it going guys? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here once again. So, for those of you who've been watching my channel, have probably noticed a serious upgrade in the quality of my videos. And if you've watched some of my recent videos, you know that I recently unveiled the fact that I got a brand new GoPro. So after testing it out for the last couple months, I finally feel confident enough to give you guys a thorough, thorough review of the brand new GoPro Hero 6. Let's go ahead and get into it. So okay guys, like I said, I recently purchased the new GoPro Hero 6. I've been really putting this through the ringer the last couple months. I've done a lot of number of videos with it as well, and have really gotten the hang of it thus far, and I am pretty impressed with some of the improvements. So my previous GoPro was the Hero 4 Silver, um, so especially making the leap from the 4 Silver to the 6, there are some really drastic improvements. So especially making that leap and skipping over the 5, I kind of did that for a reason. So in today's video, we're going to discuss a number of different things. Number one, I'm going to discuss some of the noticeable upgrades from the Hero 4 Silver to the new Hero 6. I'm going to discuss some of the features that I really love about it, especially considering what I do with a lot of the backpacking and a lot of the movement that's going on in my videos. I'll talk about some of the issues that I've had with it, as well as some of the ways that those issues have been resolved. And last but not least, I would like to talk about some upgrades GoPro can make to the Hero 6, as well as maybe some accessory options to go along with it. Okay guys, so first and foremost, I want to start off with the noticeable upgrades from the Hero 4 Silver to the new Hero 6. So right off the bat, the biggest noticeable difference is the fact that the GoPro itself is going to be waterproof. Therefore, there's no need for that extra casing to go around it, making it really nice. Number one, pop this thing in and out. Number two, I don't have to worry about condensation getting trapped inside the case or even dirt and debris getting trapped inside the case. The audio is substantially better because of that as well. There's no more echo effect. And one thing that really, really bothered me from the four with that case as well was when the GoPro would shake inside, it would create this clacking sound that would completely override any of the audio that I was trying to capture. So that right off the bat was a huge, huge upgrade. Coinciding with that without the waterproof case also means that the audio and the microphone is much, much better. So I'm not going to get that big echoing sound. I'm not going to have any clacking from the interior of the case. And as well, some of the wind reduction is going to be substantially better than the 4. There is now a built-in image stabilizer as well. That was something that really, really bothered me about the 4. It was essentially there was no image stabilization. So especially trying to hike and things like that with the GoPro Hero 4, uh, there was so much movement, so much shaking. I would then have to, in the editing phase, wait for it to process the whole video and actually smooth the image out, which took hours. So built-in image stabilizer that, number one, gives me much better quality video. Number two, it cuts my editing time down substantially. And of course, last but not least, another major change um, is the fact that this is using now USB-C to number one charge as well as transfer data. So instead of just using, I believe it was like a micro USB, um, the USB-C is going to be much faster uh, and much more efficient in that manner. So okay guys, let's talk about number two on the list. The things that I really like about the upgrades that they made to the new 6 as well as how it pertains to what I want to do. So first and foremost, as I discussed before, the sound quality. You know, getting rid of that waterproof case um, and upgrading the quality of the microphone has really gone a long way to making the quality of my videos much, much better. You know, no more do I have that kind of echoing effect, especially trying to film indoors where there's enough sound reverberation as it is. Um, you know, adding on top of that, it's in the microphone is inside a chamber. So getting that kind of echoing effect with the sound, um, I no longer have that problem. And then, of course, without having the case, the GoPro isn't going to shake around and clack on the interior and really override what I'm trying to say to you guys well, was another really big thing for me. Number two, as I discussed before, the built-in image stabilization. The GoPro Hero 4 has zero image stabilization. What I would always have to do is either A, drop the frame rate down to like 30 frames per second, or I would always have to, in the editing phase, try to smooth everything out, and that process could take hours to do. So having a built-in image stabilizer giving me a smooth image in the camera itself, number one, decrease my editing time, 
as well as because I didn't have to manipulate the video so much, it kept such a nice high resolution and a high quality to my videos. So built-in image stabilizer, great, great upgrade from the four to the six. And the last thing that I really, really like about making that leap from the four to the six is the fact that I now have voice commands built into the GoPro. So especially for me, I'm able to place the GoPro down 10, 20 feet away and step back to give myself that really nice backdrop. And then I can actually tell the GoPro, GoPro, start recording. GoPro, take a photo. GoPro, shot burst. GoPro, time lapse. Whatever I want to do. And it's going to be able to capture that image and capture that video that I really want. So it's really nice about that feature, especially for myself with a lot of the hiking and backpacking that I do, as well as my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike means that I don't have to constantly take my phone out and use that as the remote in order to step back away from that camera and get the photo that I want. So being able to just power it on, place it, tell it to take a couple photos, and then I can tell it to turn it off again, it's gonna make everything that I wanna do a little bit faster, a little bit more efficient. I'm gonna save battery life on my cell phone and save battery life on the GoPro itself. So voice commands, really, really cool feature. Place it 20 feet away, tell it to take the photo with a really nice backdrop behind me. I'm able to get some really good quality stuff because of that. So, so those are some of the few things that I really like, the major upgrades to it uh, that I was really looking forward to, especially skipping over the Hero 5 uh, and making that leap from the 4 to the 6 uh, really, really made those features stand out to me. So as with all technology nowadays, new technology, there's always going to be some issues when you first take it out of the box. So a big thing that I had problems with, and I know that other users had problems with as well, it was constantly freezing. I would go to take a photo, I would go to do a video, and things would just completely freeze up on me. I would have to take the battery out, reset the camera, and start, our, start everything all over again. It was super annoying. I got tired of it after a while. It almost got to a point where I was going to return this and actually purchase the five and just, and just save myself a few bucks kind of thing. However, after performing the necessary software upgrade, a lot of the problems and a lot of the glitches that were going on with the GoPro seem to have been resolved. I haven't had any issues since doing the upgrade with it freezing on me while trying to take a photo. When I go to power the GoPro off, it doesn't get stuck in on mode by accident, which is another nice little thing for me. So certainly make sure that you pair it with your phone app, do the software upgrade, you know, let it fix those glitches, fix those bugs and things like that, and you should be much happier with what you're gonna get. And last but not least, the topic that I wanna cover, some things I would like to see GoPro do to make this camera a little bit better. As far as a lot of the functionality goes, it's pretty tough to determine what they can do better. You know, certainly I do like the fact that you now have some kind of zoom capability. It would be nice if they extended that zoom capability to a little bit of a further range, but I'm super happy with it thus far. I have my cell phone, I have my new Sony camera to get those better quality pictures that I want. But a big thing for me as well is, yes, the GoPro is waterproof all by itself. Um, they do have those stick-on screen protectors and things, but in my experience, especially in the outdoors, dust and dirt and debris is eventually going to get underneath that screen protector uh, and it's going to fog up some of my images and things. So it would be nice if they actually created kind of like a lens cap just to go over the main lens um, and just give it that protection to where you can always pop that off, clean it, do what you need to do, but it's something that will prevent the main glass on the lens itself from getting scratched and scuffed up. And I say that because I already have a couple scuffs on there. Um, obviously, I use this thing all the time. I go hiking and backpacking quite often, so I expect this thing to get beat up a little bit. So having that protective case just to go over the lens piece, not the whole camera, just the lens piece, to protect that glass, protect the lens, it would be a really nice feature for myself. Other than that, I am super happy with the way it's performed thus far. After doing that software upgrade, I really don't have any issues with it anymore. Uh, so everything's operating in a nice smooth fashion and all the features that I really utilize all the time are performing at really just a nice optimum level. So for those of you who have the Hero 3, Hero 4, uh, maybe for those of you who even have the Hero 5, you know, if you're interested in another action camera, uh, definitely check out the GoPro. I know, I know what you're saying right now. Bob, have you looked at their stocks? Have you seen what's going on with their business? I know what you're saying right now. They still are the most popular action camera out there. 
and especially the capabilities that it gives me apart from using my cell phone or even my big my bigger Sony camera um, it's more suitable for what I want to do especially dealing with the rigors of my upcoming through hike so I'm super excited to take this thing out from my through hike I'm super excited of the quality of videos that this is going to be giving me in the future and I cannot wait to share all those experiences and all those videos with you guys moving forward thank you guys so much for following along on another fantastic video I hope this gave you some good information if you are looking at your own GoPro don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my videos, including my upcoming through hike. Hit that like button, hit that share button, leave me a comment or a question down below. I appreciate all the support. I'll catch you guys on the next video, the next gear review, the next adventure. Pleasure as always, Baba Ganoush out.